VidCon. It is great to be here and to see everyone here in the audience. So this is my third time at VidCon, and I've started to notice some patterns while I'm here. So first of all, VidCon gets bigger, bigger and bigger every year. There are over 25,000 people here at this event in Anaheim. And that's just a huge testament to the vision that John and Hank Green had when they started it only six years ago. Now, and just so you know, I wasn't at YouTube those first few years, because if I were, I would have been here. There's no way I would have missed VidCon. So second, the online space is just getting bigger and bigger, as I'm sure you've all noticed. There are new entrants, there are new partners, there are new creators, new fans. I bet a lot of you weren't here before at VidCon. It's a full-time job just to keep track of all the change in the industry. And third of all, even though the online video space is more crowded than ever, YouTube continues to thrive. This past year has been our best year ever. And while TV networks are losing audiences, we are growing in every region and across every screen. Today, more millennials tune into YouTube on mobile alone during prime time than any cable or broadcast TV network. And people aren't just watching on mobile and desktop. They are also watching YouTube in the living room. Woo. <laughs> Last year, TVs were our fastest source of watch time growth. And so what are people watching in the living room? What do they watch? Well, they watch the same things they always watched. No, no surprise there. Uh, Jimmy Fallon, John Oliver, fitness, travel, news, sports. But the part that's new is that they're now watching that right alongside all of YouTube's incredibly talented endemic creators, many of whom are at VidCon and probably some of whom are here in the room with all of us. Now, it's clear that digital media and traditional linear media are blending together. And all of this is a conversation about the present. But I've been thinking about the future and about what the next generation of video platforms will offer for all of us. So the platforms of the future, they need to put the desires of the user and of the viewer first. The content needs to be on demand so viewers can see what they want, when they want. And it needs to work across all devices, mobile, desktop, TV. And the platforms need to enable community. Viewers need to feel like they are part of what they're watching. And that, that could be commenting or live chatting or creating their own content in response. And then finally, the platforms need to be diverse. It needs to offer a compelling library of truly original content from all over the globe that keeps the viewers coming back. Now, we have seen several different media companies take one approach to original content, which is to place big bets behind mainstream Hollywood talent. And that's had a lot of success in its own right but we at YouTube have had a totally different approach. As an open platform, YouTube has been original since the beginning. We have tens of millions of original creators that range from aspiring to established, all on the platform. So today, I wanna to talk about three things that matter to all creators on YouTube. We can call them the three C's, just to make it really easy for everyone to remember. Community, creation, and creative ambition. So let me share a little bit about how we are approaching each one of them to make YouTube 
the best destination for all creators. So first, let's talk a little bit about our community. Now, you may have heard some people recently asking us to make YouTube great again. And that would be especially true if you looked at my Twitter feed. <laughs> now, we've been listening closely because we want to make YouTube the best place, a great place for creators. And the good news is, is that the bond between creators and their fans has never been stronger. In fact, 40% of millennial subscribers say that YouTube creators understand them better than their friends do. And over 60% say that YouTubers have changed their lives. But we do agree that our community, that our YouTube community can be even stronger. So in April, we announced steps to ensure that nobody loses money while rights disputes are being resolved. We, yeah. We, it took a lot of work. Uh, we're working with our legal, our finance, our operations teams. We had to set up new solutions to enable those videos to earn revenue while content ID claims are being disputed. And it's important to realize that we pay out money to tens of millions of creators across the globe every single month. So this is not a simple undertaking. But we're currently testing the new solution and we are expecting to reach 100% of all monetized users within the next few months. Now, we also are working to improve our comments, which we hear a lot from all of you here at VidCon and from our creators just across the board. And we're working to make a few changes. So these include the ability for creators to pin a comment at the top of their videos, to include GIFs in responses, and to delegate comment moderation to their trusted fans. Sound good? And so while these are really important steps, they are not the only ones that we're taking for creators. So I'm very excited to welcome Sebastian Missoff, who is our global head of operations to the stage. And he is going to talk a little bit about what we're doing to extend the journey and support for all of our creators globally. So please welcome Sebastian. <laughs> Thank you, Susan, and hello, VidCon. I'm thrilled to be back for my second VidCon. As Susan said, YouTube is all about community. It's a strong community where we can grow together and count on each other at every step of the way. Last year at VidCon, I had the opportunity to meet with Anthony De Luca, a creator from Toronto. He had 10,000 subscribers through a combination of men's fashion video and coverage of the Toronto music scene. But Anthony was thinking about his next chapter on YouTube. Anthony worked with a YouTube partner manager who helped him build a content strategy focusing on the fashion content that made him unique. Anthony then attended the Toronto Creator Day and visited our pop-up space where he continued to gain insights. And in May of this year, Anthony attended the opening of the Toronto space where he was awarded a silver play button for reaching 100,000 subscribers. He went from 10,000 to 100,000 subscribers in less than a year. We partnered with Anthony at every step of his way, and we are excited about his success. We want this to be the experience for every single creator. The YouTube community is made of tens of millions of creators who share Anthony's journey. 
And every single day, more than a thousand new creators reach the 1,000 subscribers mark. But our creator community isn't just big, it's incredibly diverse. Each creator has different needs, whether they have millions of subscribers or are just starting out. We do our best at YouTube to support and celebrate their talent and self-expression with new tools, support options, and workshops. We also provide access to production facilities for free at YouTube Spaces. We host in-person events, and we celebrate big milestones with Play Button Awards. Last week, a team even delivered to PewDiePie's his diamond button on a pony. We are not setting expectation that we'll do it every time, but. So today, I'm excited to announce three more steps that we are taking to be there for creators at every step of their way. First, we are making it easier for all creators to find the resources they need. Right now, creators have to navigate with more than seven different websites to find all the resources available to them. This experience often leave them a bit lost. I'm proud to announce that we are providing easy access to all our resources through one door, not seven. What you see on screen is the completely redesigned Creator Hub that launches today, and it's fully localized in 23 different languages. My mother in France doesn't have any excuse not to become a YouTube creator now. The site is now live, and anyone can access it at youtube.com slash creators. The new hub will be the central place where creators can discover all programs that are available to them and truly feel part of this YouTube community. As part of this hub, we are also launching a program called YouTube for Creators, bringing together a comprehensive set of solutions to grow on YouTube. So no matter how many subscribers they have, through the Creator Hub, every creator will be able to access resources available to them, like Creator Academy and our studio app, to help them grow on YouTube. For instance, once you go to 10,000 subscribers, you will be able to film and produce content at your local space. You will be able to get consultation on how to grow your channel and enter the next YouTube Next Up program. From zero subscribers to 10 million, we want to make the journey clear at every stage and outline the support we offer. And I hope you are ready for this. Perhaps the biggest news of all. I am proud to announce that every single creator who has enabled monetization on their channel will now be able to reach out to YouTube with a question and hear back from a real human being within one business day. We currently offer this direct support to hundreds of thousands of creators. As of today, that extends to tens of millions of creators. We know that becoming a creator on YouTube is an exciting journey. We know that the success of the creators is what makes this community so strong, and we are dedicated to be there for each creator at every step of their way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Sebastian. So as you can see by all those announcements that he just made, we at YouTube want to be with creators every step of the way. That also means offering the most cutting edge, creative, content creation tools out there. So we are investing heavily in live streaming, 
360 degree video, and VR. Now with 360 degree video and VR, viewers can interact with their video environments as if they are actually there. YouTube has more 360 degree and VR content than any other platform. In fact, you can watch every single video on YouTube with a VR headset like Cardboard, making it the world's largest library of VR content. And with live streaming, fans can interact directly with the creator and with each other right while something unfolds in real time. Now, we've enabled live stream way back in 2011, but the momentum behind it has just been getting stronger. In the last six months alone, the amount of live streams on YouTube have tripled. But we have even more coming, and you're gonna hear about it in a minute. So let me invite Kurt Williams, Kurt Wilms, our product lead for emerging experiences, to come on stage and talk about some of the things that we're doing to support the next generation of content creation on YouTube. So please welcome Kurt Wilms. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Susan. As Susan mentioned, we really believe that immersive experiences like Live, 360, and VR are gonna play a huge role in the future of creation. The amount of interactivity and engagement they offer, especially when you're on a mobile device, is unlike anything else out there. That's why we've been so focused on staying at the very cutting edge of where video is going and bringing along as many people as possible to that future. And that's especially true when it comes to VR. We've already made huge strides in democratizing the VR experience. We created Google Cardboard so that anyone with a smartphone could experience VR for themselves. We then worked to unlock the world's largest video library, YouTube, to be viewable on a VR device. But we didn't stop there. This year at Google I.O., we announced the launch of a brand new YouTube app, built from the ground up for VR headsets as part of Google's Daydream platform. The YouTube virtual, rea virtual reality app will bring voice search, spatial audio, VR videos, and playlists to give you the ultimate qual high quality platform for consuming VR content. We're also working to bring even more VR content onto YouTube. We think YouTube's incredible creator community is gonna lead the way in showing the world the full potential of VR. We're currently partnering with leading VR production companies and pairing them with top creators, such as Swoozy, Unbox Therapy, H Kurt Hugo Schneider, to test which formats work really well in VR. For example, no one knows if makeup tutorials, challenge videos, how-tos, or vlogs will work great in VR. But some of the experiments we're running are designed to give the entire ecosystem an idea. We'll release our findings and learnings in our Creator Academy so that all creators can learn the best practices when it comes to VR creation and production. We'll also have all the latest VR equipment and cameras in our YouTube spaces so creators large and small can start creating VR content today. So that's VR. We're also making big leaps in live streaming. And like Susan mentioned, we've been doing live streaming since way before it was cool. Millions of people tuned in to watch the Royal Wedding in 2011. One sixth of the internet tuned in to watch Felix Baumgartner jump from space back to Earth on YouTube in 2012. And just last month, we live streamed the world's largest sporting annual, annual sporting event, the UEFA Champions League final. Finally, just this year, we became the first ever to broadcast a 360 degree live stream during Coachella. Over 21 million people tuned in to watch Coachella on YouTube this year. That's almost twice as many as uh, that tuned in to watch the series finale of American Idol. And today I'm excited to announce a new chapter in bringing the power of live video to creators everywhere. 
Soon we'll be putting the power of YouTube live streaming right in the palm of your hands. And I'm going to show you how it's going to work right now. So <clears throat> as you can see, YouTube live streaming is going to be built right into the main YouTube mobile app. You don't need to open anything else up. You just load the app and hit the big red button. Now we created this red button last year to make creation on the go easier than ever. And soon we'll, be able, soon we'll give you the option to broadcast what you're seeing live as well. All you need to do is hit go live. Once you hit go live, you enter a video title. So I'll do live at VidCon. And then maybe because I'm having fun up here, I'll do an emoji. Uh, once I do that, I just hit next. And then I take a selfie for my thumbnail. Everyone wave. <laughs> and then I just go ahead and hit go live. Now, once I go live, I'm broadcasting the world. So give everyone a chance here to say hi. Awesome. There's a lot of you out there. <clears throat> and like I mentioned, this goes out to everyone, including my subscribers. So you can see here my buddy David just joined Jacob. They're all probably in the audience cheering me on. <laughs> so once I'm done streaming, all I have to do is hit finish. And once I hit end, this video would come available on YouTube just like any video would. Now, because it's built right into the main YouTube mobile app, these live streams will have all the features that you know and love about regular videos. You'll be able to search for them. They'll appear in video recommendations and playlists. And of course, viewers can use our mobile notification bell to get alerts when their favorite cre creators start live streaming. We announced the mobile notification bell on YouTube last year at VidCon, and we're already ringing that bell 10 billion times a month. It's a crazy number. And we're helping our creators alert their subscribers. Now, because YouTube mobile live streaming will use our peerless infrastructure, it's going to be faster and more reliable than anything else out there. Say, for instance, just in case you want to do a live stream of an interview with the president. We think this will offer creators an entirely new, more intimate, and super spontaneous way to share their experiences with their communities and fans on the go. And so that's mobile live streaming. We're launching today with select creators at VidCon, and we're going to be rolling it out more widely soon. So thank you, VidCon, for letting me show you how that all works. And I'm going to throw it back to Susan. Hey, thank you. <laughs> OK. All right, thank you, Kurt, and thank you to our live streaming teams. Um, I am really looking forward to seeing how everybody here uses all of these creative tools. I know that you know no bounds. You're incredibly creative. Uh, so we're incredibly excited to see how all of you use those tools. So finally, I want to talk to you about the third pillar, which is creative ambition. Now, if we ask our creators, probably if we ask a lot of you in the audience, you'll tell us that there is an idea or a project or a collaboration or a vision or something that you've always wanted to bring to life but you just haven't been able to do that yet. Now, YouTube has helped creators do incredible things. It's helped them build a fan base, global exposure, and even earn serious money. And who doesn't want all of those things, right? But yet, they still dream of doing something more. They're ambitious. That's why it's called creative ambition. In some cases, that has led to some pretty amazing collaborations with YouTubers and with traditional TV and with movie outlets. So for example, we saw Flula, who has a YouTube auto-tune and a vlog series, get a major role in Pitch Perfect 2. And now he is starring in his own movie, Buddy Moon, which is coming out July 1st. Yeah. All right, go Flula. We'll all be watching it. OK, we also saw Issa Rae, who is creator of the YouTube show Awkward Black Girl. All right, she has fans here too. And she landed a series on HBO called Insecure. 
and it's scheduled to debut this fall. And then, of course, we saw Rachel Bloom, who went from making very funny, very creative music videos on YouTube to winning a Golden Globe for her musical comedy series, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. So it has been amazing to see what our creators have been able to do both on and off the platform. So late last year, we launched our Originals program to give YouTube creators the same opportunities to do ambitious things on YouTube. And that brings me to YouTube Red. YouTube Red makes everything on YouTube better. It gives users the ad-free experience, the ability to offline content, and a premium music listening experience through our music app. And it gives them exclusive access to YouTube Red Originals. Now, our original series are one of the leading drivers of Red subscriptions. The viewerships that we have rival similar cable shows. But it's been interesting. What we've also seen is that the creators that we feature in our originals for Red, they get a boost on their YouTube subscription and their watch time on their main ad-supported channels. And most of this watch time boost is coming from viewers who hadn't watched that content creator before. So it turns out that, that there's actually a virtuous cycle between our YouTube Red and our ad-supported experience. And we're also seeing that these originals, that they're consumed in a totally new way, which is half of the watch time is happening on mobile phones. So I'd like to tell you a lot more about what we have planned in our originals. And in order to do that, I'm going to invite Suzanne Daniels, who is our global head of original content, to come out on stage and to tell you what's coming next. So welcome, Suzanne. It's a pleasure to join you on stage for my first ever VidCon. As Susan said, we're seeing some fantastic engagement with our very first slate of YouTube originals. With nine projects launched, we're seeing fans sign up, tune in, binge, and share their enthusiasm with their friends. And a ton of this activity is happening in just the first 24 hours after our new series go live. In fact, just yesterday, we launched the very first episode of Escape the Night, starring Joey Graceffa, and we immediately saw a spike on Joey's channel. Along with Joey's new series, we also have three other new projects we're releasing over the next few months, all of which feature your favorite creators doing new and inventive things. First up is Fight of the Living Dead, which features 10 YouTube stars as they attempt to survive a zombie apocalypse over the course of three days. Think Survivor meets The Walking Dead meets the stars of our annual Rewind video. Also coming soon is a charming romantic comedy from our friends at Wang Fu called Single by 30. <laughs> Woo! The show is about two high school best friends who pledge to marry each other if they were both single once they hit the big 3-0. You know, there's so much talk in Hollywood about the lack of diversity on screen. So I'm proud that we're reflecting the diversity of YouTube through all of these Red Originals. And that's true of our next original as well. YouTube Red will be the exclusive home of Gigi Gorgeous's new feature-length documentary directed by two-time Oscar winner Barbara Koppel. Gigi's documentary offers a raw and revealing look at Gigi's transition from male to female, exposing her personal journey while bringing a deepened understanding to an important topic. Let's take a look at all four new original titles debuting soon. I invite you all to attend a dinner party. Welcome. If your friends are wise enough, they'll be able to solve the keys and save you. You are the YouTube killer. 
This game is going to be the death of us. I'm scared. We are all going to die. This is the worst party ever. And action. Single by 30 is a romantic drama comedy series that we're doing with YouTube Red. Single by 30 is about two best friends that make a pact in high school that if they're not married by the time they're 30, they'll marry each other. Got it. This series is like the biggest project we've ever done and it's really exciting that YouTube Red wanted to support it. This is Wall Fu on like another level and we can't wait to share it. I'm just so excited. I am working on a full length movie. It's gonna be a documentary about my life. I can't say too much about it yet. I literally just wanna tell you everything going on, but I can't, and it's just gonna to have to be a surprise. I am so, so excited and so happy, and I just wanted to say thank you so much because, you know, this wouldn't be happening without your love and support. Until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous. We were taken to a top secret location. Ah! I was one of 10 YouTube stars selected for this groundbreaking experiment. <laughs> to live through 72 hours in a simulated zombie apocalypse. How do we get out of here? In addition to all those great titles we just previewed, I'm happy to announce today a number of new projects we'll be releasing exclusively to YouTube Red subscribers. When we were thinking about our new slate, we decided to take a look back at what was successful. And I'm pleased to announce that we're bringing back three titles that really resonated with fans. Scare PewDiePie, Foursome, and a new movie from Ian and Anthony of Smosh. We know that Felix's fans loved the first season of Scare PewDiePie. And we also know that the show got viewership that rivaled some of the top shows on cable. We're thrilled to continue this suspenseful series with Maker Studios, Rebel Mode, and Skybound Entertainment. And we've got a special video from Felix to tell you all about it. How's it going, bros? This is PewDiePie. I can't even do it properly. <laughs> I'm sick. So I'm really sorry I can't be at VidCon, but I just wanted to say a quick thanks to everyone who watched Scare PewDiePie. It was one of the craziest experiences of my life, and I can't wait to dive in into a new season with you, Briss. That's all I got to say, and I'll see you next time. As always, Brofist. Another series that did amazingly well and resonated with fans was Foursome from Awesomeness TV. Jen McAllister is returning as Andy, and season two will focus on more of her adventures as she tries to pass through the real tests of high school, hookups, breakups, and makeups. Finally, after doing a series with Smosh, we're bringing Ian and Anthony back again, this time for a film. This one is a feature-length supernatural comedy about a luckless guy who moves into an apartment only to find out it's haunted by a ghost who can't seem to find his way back to heaven. So we've got these four titles you just saw and the three renewals I've announced. But believe it or not, we're just getting started. I've actually got six more exciting projects to share with you today. First up is a project I have been chasing since I was at MTV. I've been a fan of the Step Up movies for years and always believed the films would translate into an awesome original series. And now, finally, the Step Up series is happening on the platform where it's supposed to be. I'm so pleased to announce that in partnership with Lionsgate, YouTube Red will release the first ever Step Up series, executive produced by Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan Tatum, alongside Meredith Milton, Jennifer Gibgott, and Adam Shankman. Like the hugely successful movies, this new series will be centered around the heart-pounding, sexy, music-filled world of dancers at a performing arts high school. We know that dance is a hugely successful global category on YouTube, so I'm really excited to have a series rooted in such an enormously popular genre on our platform. We also know educational content and explainer videos are a huge source of engagement on YouTube. So we decided to partner with one of our leading educators, Michael Stevens of Vsauce. 
for a new series about something we all know actually very little about. No, not quantum physics, human behavior. Michael's new series, working title Psych Lab, will use real subjects, including himself and special guests, to show some of the most mind-blowing, important, and least understood aspects of human nature. Next up is a new scripted series from two YouTubers that I love. It's called Rhett and Link's Buddy System. In this comedy, Rhett and Link must go out of their way to regain control of their internet empire from their mutual co-ex-girlfriend who is holding a very big secret over their heads. <laughs> You'll get to see Rhett and Link in this inventive new series, which also stars SNL alums Molly Shannon and Chris Parnell, alongside Leslie Bibb and Paige Kennedy. Here's a message from Rhett and Link about their new show. Hey, Red Link here, just hanging out in our magic coffin. We really wish we could be with you there at VidCon, but we're in production on our new series, Red and Link's Buddy System. It is a scripted musical comedy which features a lot of totally normal things, the least of which is this magic coffin. And a roller skating rollerblading fight, and a barbershop quartet that we sing with clones of ourselves. And possibly a talking exercise bike. Actually, definitely a yes. talking exercise bite because that is also in there. And lots of other stuff. We're super excited to be working with YouTube to bring this to our fans on the platform via YouTube Red. So look for Red and Link's Buddy System this year on YouTube Red. And in yes. the meantime, we're going to be hanging out in our secret magic coffin. Is the secret now? Yes. Don't tell anybody about our magic coffin. Shh. Our love for comedic partnerships continues with top comedy duo Dan and Phil. As we speak, these stars are finishing up the largest tour ever by a YouTube creator. They've sold over 150,000 tickets all over the world. And today we're excited to announce we're bringing Dan and Phil's show exclusively to YouTube Red as a feature film. They'll also be giving audiences a behind the scenes look with the documentary about the making of the tour. But enough live action, how about an animated series? Top YouTube creators C Nanners, Mr. Sark, and Vanos Gaming star in an animated comedy series helmed by Michael Rowe, the Emmy Award winning writer of Futurama and Family Guy. The series revolves around a team of ill-equipped paranormal investigators who struggle to unfold the mysteries of the paranormal universe for their desperate clients. Finally, we're peeling back the layers on some of our top creators with a new film called Vlogumentary, executive produced by Shay Shay Carl Butler, Maker Studios, and award-winning provocateur Morgan Spurlock. Vlogumentary gives us a personal, intimate lens into the world of YouTube's top talent, shining a light on their creator voices, their unique process, and the larger digital media landscape. Whew, I knew that was a lot. We've been busy over here at YouTube Originals, but what I hope this slate demonstrates is our openness to new ideas, our excitement to try new things you won't see anywhere else, and our commitment to original programming for the long haul. We're giving creators a new way to bring more ambitious content to the platform where their community already lives. So thank you, VidCon, and stay tuned for more great original content from YouTube Red. Thank you, Suzanne. So as you can see, we have an incredible lineup of new original titles coming out um, and even more in development. YouTube is the most original content platform in the world. And we are working really hard to make sure that we can bring even more ambitious, more original series to the platform. So just to recap, I talked at the beginning about how there were going to be three different themes that we are working on for creators. Do you guys remember them? Yes. This is going to be like school. Should we cold call? Yeah. They start with C's. Can I give you guys a hint? OK, C's. Are you guys paying attention? Yes. OK, this is really easy. They all start with C. OK, so what are we doing? We are helping YouTubers fulfill their creative ambitions. We are giving them the latest cutting edge 
video creation tools. And lastly, we are strengthening our community. Come on, community, all of you together. Yay, see there are even photos to help remind you, community. So when people talk about community, and they talk about YouTube's community, especially when they're here at VidCon, the first thing they often mention are, what do you people mention when they talk about like, the screaming fans, right? How could you miss that? The enthusiasm for fans that they express, it is so overwhelming. It's so genuine. And yes, sometimes it is so loud. So it's easy to think that that's all there is. But what I hope you take away when you visit VidCon isn't just the enthusiasm. It's a sense of belonging that exists here. So over the last year at YouTube, we have given a lot of thought about what we stand for. And we've identified a number of freedoms that we believe in and that we want to promote at YouTube. So these include the freedom of expression, that YouTube gives everyone a voice. The freedom of information, that YouTube provides information to everyone around the globe. The freedom of opportunity, that anyone on YouTube can build a media business. And the freedom to belong, that everyone can find connection and community. YouTube gives people of any race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, disability, or interest, a place to come together and a place to belong. It just so happens that this year, VidCon falls during a very special time. Next week will mark the 49th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, which are largely considered to be the most important event leading up to the LGBT liberation moment, movement and the fight for equal rights. After nearly 50 years, this movement has made tremendous progress. And some people, they might feel that the struggle for equal rights has largely been won. But the tragic events of the recent mass shooting in Orlando showed us that the march for progress, for understanding, and for equality is far from over. The attack on the Pulse nightclub purposely targeted the LGBT community in a place where they felt welcome, where they felt empowered, and where they felt safe. And tragically, that attack became the deadliest mass shooting in American history. But even when it feels like some are determined to make the LGBT community feel vulnerable, we are proud that YouTube has always been and always provided a place to belong. YouTube has a rich history of being a place where this community can come for free expression, understanding, and connection. So as we celebrate Pride this month, I want to share a video that we made to commemorate this incredible community on YouTube. I know a lot of people have been questioning about it. But there's, there's something that I want to clear up. I identify as agender. But also genderqueer. Omnisexual, polysexual. I haven't really figured that out myself yet. It's not about a preference. It's much more complicated than that. Gender can be confusing. People look at me differently. You're gorgeous, you slay, but... What are you really? What were you when you were born? Are you bisexual? Where do you stick it? Do you got a dick or not? You weren't born a woman. You serious? Like... It's not fair to anybody. Those were some of my darkest days. Having them tell you that there's no space for you. Would people love me? Like, would people accept me for who I am?
Because, because, let me tell you. At the end of the day, you gotta live your life for you. And it's not something that anyone should have to be ashamed of. I'm telling you who I am, giving you who I am. I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. I am actually pansexual. I am transgender. So I'm also I am 33 weeks pregnant. I am so proud. I love myself. We will love one another. And now is a time where we need to say no to the hate, to the violence. This won't scare us back into the closet. We will be seen and we will be heard. Go in front of the mirror, take a deep breath and say, this is who I am. Just, just say, stand up next door and be like, this is who I am. We all want to live in a world where we feel like our feelings are shared and that our opinions matter. We want to live in a world where others understand what we're going through. But unfortunately, our connections to people like us or to people who empathize with us are often obscured by distance or conflict. YouTube can reveal that connected world. It gives people everywhere the freedom to belong, no matter who they are, what they look like, where they're from, or who they love. So no matter how loud it gets in these VidCon halls, I hope it's the incredible sense of belonging that you witness here at VidCon. So thank you, everybody and have a good night. Thank you.